from Imaging is Leslie Chong and from the City of Hope is Chairman of the Department of Surgery, Professor Yuman Fong. Good morning, good to see you both. Good morning. Hi, Andrew. Look, Leslie, firstly to you, big morning here for uh, Imugene, dosing of first patient in the, the vaccinia uh, phase one trial. Clearly a milestone for you. I am so excited. Um, so we get to put Professor Fong's 30 years of life's work into the clinic. Uh, this is the parental virus. This is CF33, and he's inserted a transgene called human sodium iodine symporter that we call HNS. In this instance, we're using that as a tracer, but you could possibly use that as a therapeutic as well. But anyway, this is the vector that carries PDL1 and also our CD19. So you could imagine taking the parental virus. Newman's life's work into the clinic is just so exciting for us. Professor Fong, as, as Leslie alluded to your life's work here, it's been many years in the making to reach this point. So you must be thrilled. Uh, I'm absolutely thrilled, but it's not just my work. It's really the entire field. I, I, the field of gene therapy is really coming to maturation. I'm actually right now sitting at the 25th anniversary of uh, the American Society for Gene and Cell Therapy meeting. And uh, it's 25 years of uh, this being an established field. What we learned in the last 25 years is now informing us as to how to go make the next generation viruses. And this CF33 platform is, uh, is what we think uh, one of the prototypic viruses from moving forward to try to attack all cancers. Just remind us a bit about the platform, the technology and its effectiveness. So basically what we did was that we took a number of different vaccine strains of viruses and allowed them to recombine. Uh, viruses live to trade uh, genetic materials. And then we isolated 200 new species of viruses and allowed us to go and screen for which ones killed lots of cancers uh, yeah, and which ones are really safe for animals. And uh, so this was our very best virus in, the, uh, in that screen. And now it's in humans, uh, in, in uh, first in man testing, a uh, very exciting day. Well, talk us through how the phase one study will work. How's it being designed? It's a multi-center uh, phase one trial. And uh, so it's many centers doing the trial. And uh, we are actually testing it in, in many different kinds of met metastatic cancers. And so it's not just one cancer we're testing it against, uh, but many different potential targets for this virus. We're also, I just wanna add, we're also looking at it not only from an intratumoral point of view of dose regimen, we're also looking at it intravenously. What we have saw preclinically is that the virus had the ability to travel that scopo effect and we saw it again and again. So we think that that's going to be powerful because obviously via intravenous, you can treat multiple types of cancer. So we're quite excited about this possibility because that makes us quite unique from other oncolytic viral therapies out there. And it makes us quite unique in that we'll go right into a combination shortly after we, uh, we derive out of safety after cohort two. So we're just moving and shaking this, um, this study. I think what's gonna enroll quite quickly um, I'm, I'm just thrilled that we get to see the most powerful oncolytic viral therapy out there to be in the clinic and hopefully we get some great uh, results from the patients. What's your expectations around timing here to see some results? Well, in the, in the phase one, there's some uh, FDA demands on, on staging the patient. So you have to wait until a certain number of patients are in before you can move to the next stage. However, uh, we already have a lot of patients lined up. And as Human alluded to, we have multiple sites, um, you know, uh, enrolling into this study. So I think it's going to go quite rapidly. Um, and then we'll possibly get results quite quickly. And I love the fact that City of Hope and the investigators and, and Imaging, we really love to publish on our good findings. So um, we'll find a way to get great news out there. Professor Fong, I suppose a final word from you. How are you feeling? How are your confidence levels now that the phase one's effectively underway here? Oh, I, not only excited, but... Uh, very optimistic. And that's because the, I, I, we've been seeking a virus that would only infect and kill cancer for a long time. 
And, uh, and, and that's not far-fetched because again, many viruses only infect liver like hepatitis virus or brain like a meningitis virus. So we've been trying to find or design a virus that only infects and kills cancer. And we think this is as close to one as ever has been made. So very excited. I suppose with, without stating the obvious here, should this prove to be effective, how transformational for the field of medicine might this be? Again, I'm uh, going to let you been speak. <laughs> As an academic, I always have to be it. guarded, okay? Because results have to speak for, for, for us. And, uh, but again, uh, if it does what we think it does, I think we're going to go make uh, great strides in, 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 in the uh, uh, attempt to try to cure more patients at stage four or earlier stages in cancer. I think we're going to have the ability to help a lot of folks if this turns out the way it, it, we think it will. And Leslie, clearly important for patients, important for medicine, and this is the news MUGN shareholders have been waiting for this morning. Oh, definitely. Uh, we've been working at getting CF33, the parental virus vaccinia, into the clinic, and here we are. So we're just at the footsteps of, of starting, but then I think this is a start of some great, great uh, things to come. Leslie, Professor Fong, good to see you both. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.